Hey, beautiful people. How's it going? I am your girl, Hugga Tail Shay. Thank you all for being here. Okay. Um, so we're going to do what you can expect June 4th through June 7th. Okay. This is this week ahead. Okay. When it comes to love, the person's on your mind. We're just going to see what's coming in. Okay. Please keep in mind that these are general. Okay. So it may or may not resonate. All right. Thank you all for all the love and support. We didn't hit 5K, you guys, on here. I'm so thankful. I'm so happy. Thank y'all for all the new subscribes, the, the comments, the shares. Drop on over Twitter. Let me know, like, hey, girl, I'm from YouTube. It means a lot, okay? I, I'm so grateful, okay? If y'all would like to book a reading with me, y'all can either do my Twitter, which is down in the in the description box at Hot Girl Tail Shake, or you can email me, okay, at um, hotgirltailshake at gmail.com, okay? That's how you can book a reading with me if you'd like to. Um, just email me, okay? I'm gonna be up on it and checking it more, okay? This month, so yeah, go ahead. Um, so yeah, if you're if you're coming from here, you've been watching the videos. Um, a 2020 reading, that's what I'm doing, okay, for this month of June. So if y'all, you know, obviously I love the support. So if y'all like, hey, I want to book a 2020 reading with you, okay? It can be anything you would like, all right? So just let me know. Just email me at hotgirltailshake or on twitter okay that just lets me know that y'all watch the videos gotcha all righty here we go so spirit what do you have for the collective we're gonna do a day by day for this week ahead thank you for all that you do spirit please um protect me as i get these messages out for the collective's highest good anybody coming to the channel being negative weird trying to start drama trying to to do the most please do not allow me to see that energy Keep it for me, my family, friends, and soul child who are here to support as they do. Thank you, Spirit, and everything that you do. Amen, amen, and amen. So we're going to do a day-to-day -day like we did for the weekend. I see that y'all definitely love that reading. So we'll see what's coming out this weekend, what you can be aware of, okay? So Spirit, angels, ancestors, um, what messages do you have for the collectors? Highest good. All right, here we go, you guys. All right, Spirit, what do you have for June 4th on a Tuesday? All right, so we got June 4th. Can you tell me about June 5th? I think these messages are coming out. And I'm not looking at them either, so it'll be a surprise. <laughs> June 6th on a Thursday for the collective. What can they be aware of on June 6th? Say, okay, something in reverse. June 7th. What can the collective expect June 7th? Oh, I got two for June 7th. Okay. So we're going to keep those. So maybe something good happening on Friday on June 7th. Okay. We're going to clarify each of these messages. Well, yeah, here we go. <clears throat> so June 4th. What can y'all expect on June 4th? Somebody watching your Facebook, your Snapchat, your Instagram okay somebody here is watching you okay watching from a fake profile hiding okay 333 on the timer so y'all definitely got somebody here who is watching you honey they watching you paying very close attention to what you got going on trying to see what you doing okay june 5th we got something about a vacation so some of you may take like a little getaway Okay, maybe a little hideaway. Maybe you want to get away from everything that you've been going through. Okay, going on a little adventure. It may be like a last minute thing. Okay, so some of you may be going like on a little mini vacation, just like a day trip. Maybe you like, you know, I got a day off. Let me, some of you that could be your day off, June 5th. Maybe you're just going to go like out of town. Okay, maybe just for a day or two. Okay, or maybe this could be the beginning of your trip. All right, June 6th, hamster wheel. Okay, so this doesn't survive in daily hustle. This tells me that some of you are not having to be in that energy where you like trying to bust your ass to make ends meet. Okay, I feel like for some of you, definitely, if you're definitely going on a trip, just know that you can splurge a little bit. That's what that's telling me. Because if it wasn't, if it was upright, that would tell me that you're trying to hustle, you're surviving. But some of you, you just kind of sitting a little bit comfortably. Okay, you've been saving, you've been working hard, you going into this third quarter, pouring into yourself, feeling good about yourself. Okay, we're gonna clarify that and see. Okay, and then June 7th. Oh, somebody is gonna be mad about some money. Okay, 
somebody here, you could be putting somebody on child support. Maybe they got to go through some alimony, something with the government, okay? So financial support could be happening and somebody's mad. I don't, I don't feel like this is y'all. This might be somebody here that you're connected to. This may be why somebody here is watching you. That's why they're mad because they see you having fun, going on trips. You ain't struggling. You, you doing really good for yourself. And they over here mad because some of you, this could be an ex. This could be a family, family member. This could be your baby daddy. They see you taking trips. They feel like if you got their own child support, they feel like you using the money to, to go take yourself on trips, okay? They thought they financially supporting you when that's probably not even the case. Somebody here is mad because they got to go through like a, a, a court hearing, okay? They got to pay alimony, okay? Somebody here got to pay for a child that they may not even want or didn't want. Or maybe they do want, and maybe the person is just upsetting them. I don't know who this is that's mad about financial support because I don't feel like this is y'all. Some of you, something here, if you are going to court about financial situations, some of you may be, may be um, finding out that it's going to work out in your favor. So let's clarify and see. Who's this? And somebody here going to be definitely watching you and got a lot to say about what you're doing and how you're doing. Okay? Just so can you help me clarify these messages for the collective side is good? So what is this June 4th? Access being granted, social media, fake profile, hiding. Who is this? That's watching the collective June 4th. It's possibly somebody here that was given to other situations, okay? There's somebody here that was, you know, somebody here watching you because they see, yeah, this is my you was dealing with, Ace of Cups, okay? This is probably possibly an ex. Yeah, it could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. This is somebody here that was out here giving to other situations, okay? Somebody here is watching you have more balance in, in your life. Someone here could also be snooping on you to see if you got something new going on. Access granted, social media. Yeah, somebody want to talk to you. So y'all may receive like a message on social media from whoever this is that's been hiding. They may, you know, go ahead and be like, you know, I've been hiding long enough. Let me go ahead and talk. Somebody here wants to talk to you. They want the truth because whoever this is, y'all had a painful ending with. This somebody here who feels like y'all have, they've missed an opportunity here with you. And like I said, y'all are leaving this situation behind. Y'all are moving forward. And this person is having a hard time accepting that you're done. Okay, yeah, look, full of regret. They, they only focus on what they've lost, which is you. Okay, but somebody here is going to make the effort to come towards you. This somebody here who I feel like also doesn't want any drama with you. Okay, they could have been a stalemate. What does this person want to say with the Ace of Swords? Access being granted, social media, fake profile, hiding. Yeah, it could be an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Somebody here wants to come and tell you the truth. Somebody here is making a wise decision to come towards you. Okay, this somebody here who feels like, yeah, like I said, for me, this could be the baby daddy or baby mama. They may want their family back. They may want to heal a them or be a family or, or work on y'all getting to that point of having success and you know, building that financial stability together, success, having a family. Y'all could be working towards your future family. But yeah, somebody here is coming here with some type of communication. Yep. Somebody here is ready to talk things out. They're ready to figure it out with you. Okay. Yeah, but somebody here is just ready to, to get through to you. Somebody here bringing a lot of um, signs about you too. Yeah, somebody who definitely broke your heart, had you in a third party situation. All right, so let me get one of these messages. So June 4th on a Tuesday, Spirit. June 4th. Tell me more for June 4th. Yeah, see, so this is my here who was possibly one-sided in the past. They could have, you know, were fighting with you all the time or fighting against the connection. Yeah, this is my here who was a liar, a cheater, deceiver. This person um was in a whole other relationship. Some of you, they could be locked up. And they feel like everything is crumbling. They missing you. They miss the intimacy. They miss that real love. Okay. They miss that good love. Okay. Somebody here misses that good good. But somebody here is trying to figure out how to communicate with you. How to get through to you. How to come in here with some truth. Okay. So somebody here may be fighting for your love on the floor. All right. Let's see. So tell what what does the collective know about this on June fifth? This escape. Vacation, hideaway, adventure. What is this about, Spirit? Some of you, you going to be going on a little vacation with your person. Some of you may see your, your new soulmate or person 
out there, okay? Some of you may see your person while you're on vacation. Vacation, hideaway, adventure. What is this about? Yeah. Somebody here is going to be watching you because they know maybe they know you're about to go on vacation. And so they're heavily watching you on your social media. Okay, this is my here who don't want to let go. Wow, who is this Four of Pentacles energy? Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, something here done changed. Somebody here feel like y'all are destined to be together. And maybe they're doing something nice for you. They feel like y'all are fated to be together. Yeah, y'all, somebody here going to be trying to reach out. Yeah, Six of Cups. This is your past person that y'all walked away from. But they haven't walked away from you. They want more with you. And more that they want is success, a family situation. Somebody here, maybe maybe y'all are going on vacation. I know it's summertime. Kids are out of school. So maybe maybe this person's like, can I go on a trip with you? Can we get away? Can we take the kids out on a vacation? What is the Wheel of Fortune here? Yeah, Page of Pen Pentacles. Somebody here wants your trust. Somebody here is not letting you go, Collective. They want a whole fresh start with you. Yeah, a second chance. They're going through an awakening. Okay, let's see. This is June 5th on a Wednesday. June 5th. Vacation, hideaway, adventure. June 5th. Yeah, this is about here. Yeah, this is definitely about your ex. Okay, this is about here who had you in a third party situation. But now they feel like y'all are not being flexible with them. That's probably why some of y'all are getting away because this person had energy has been draining. They could be a vampire, an energy vampire. Okay. And some of you could have just got some money that's coming in and y'all want to just spoil yourself, maybe spoil your kids. But somebody here knows that or they, they feel like, you know, you're doing your thing. They see you doing your thing. See, and I'm telling y'all, if y'all got a court situation coming up, spirit says y'all it's working out in your favor. But somebody here is sick and tired of the same cycle, okay? Somebody here is trying to make a decision when it comes to you, all right? So June 6th, Spirit, on a Thursday. Why can't the world in reverse for June 6th? June 6th for the collective hamster wheel. Yeah, you see, y'all got new opportunities coming in. So some of you, if you've been worried about money or if you've just been wondering when your time is coming, especially after like feeling the time that you've been lacking, y'all may get a promotion on the 6th or maybe a job will come about, okay? Maybe you've been praying for a job, praying for a new beginning. You've been in survival mode for a long time. Spirit is saying there's an opportunity, so get prepared for this opportunity, okay? Yep, three of wands for June 6th. This could be a bonus. This could be um, maybe some of you are getting ready to make a move. Yeah, leader, entrepreneur. Yeah, some of you could be taking the the the. Maybe you can be in the position where you're the boss now. Maybe your maybe your boss or who is over you is moving to another position, and now they see that you are the man or the woman for the job. Okay, yeah, y'all gonna have a lot of peace and harmony in your life, and I do feel like there could be something about your past person trying to come back towards you as they see that you're having more balance in your life, because things that you've been avoiding a lot. Three of Wands. So some of you are about to be a boss or a leader, maybe the lead person out the group. Yeah. Now, some of you could end up leaving a job, taking a leap of faith, walking away from something because it has been giving you a hard time. Maybe you've been there for years or, you know, you told yourself after a year, if, if there's no growth from here, I'm going to move on because you feel like you were stopping your own self. Yeah. Some of you just going to be independent. You're either going to work for yourself or you're going to be... Um, an entrepreneur on your own, start your own business, or you're going to have people under you. Some of you are going to get very dis disciplined, okay? Maybe you ran into some money, took a loan out, and y'all taking a leap of faith. Some of you could be taking your 401k out. Some of you could even just be going back to school. Maybe you got, you've saved up enough, and maybe you were able, maybe, you know, you didn't have to use financial aid. Maybe it was cheaper to start school, but y'all are been feeling like y'all been having a hard time, and that's why y'all walking away. Y'all tired of feeling like y'all are in survival mode. Some of you just in the in the mode in the mood where you just don't give a fuck. Excuse my language, but you could just be in this energy where you just don't care. You're like, I'm done missing out on stuff. Um, I got faith. But some of you about to end up getting a boss, like a uh, y'all about to be your own boss, or you're about to be a boss. Okay, I mean you already are a boss, you know, but but you are really about to start focusing on you. You about to do what makes you happy. Okay, so tell me about June sixth, there. June 6th on a Thursday for the collective. Ugh. 
some of you also now these when i pull these messages that means these are bonus messages what could happen in the day because some of you really ain't gonna be going through everything i've been saying some stuff could be happening some i may fight with you june 4th some of you may find out about why your person been acting up okay so the bonus message that i'm getting for y'all on june 6th for some of you y'all gonna get a, a y'all a unknown caller sorry about that guys so there is somebody here who is wanting to talk to you. All right, so June 6th, y'all are gonna definitely have somebody who is calling you, texting you, hanging up, trying to get through to you, okay? Somebody here really wants to get an understanding with you, okay? Somebody here you could call cheating on you or cheat or call in the past and y'all just got tired of that shit. Some of you never even told this person that you caught them or saw something and that's probably for some of you, that's why y'all staying away. But this person wants to compromise. They wanna make amends with you. They want to figure out what the fuck is going on. They're hoping for a positive outcome, okay? But some of you, like I said, y'all didn't even trip on it. Y'all just like, bet, okay? Noted. Some of you here don't even know that you've seen what you've seen, okay? So that's for some of y'all on June 6th, okay? Let's move on to June 7th on a Friday. So Spirit, what is this, what is this about? Pressure cooker, rage, ready to explode, financial support, child alimony government. Yeah, if y'all are going through any court system spaces, y'all got good news on the way. Maybe y'all, maybe this is y'all energy. Some of you, you had to take somebody to court. This was a painful ending, but y'all got good news on the way. If y'all do have court coming up, now it may not happen on this day specifically, on that, on Friday, that's specifically, but Spirit is saying, if you are going through a court situation right now, it's going to work out in your favor. Yeah, you're about to have a new beginning. And... And y'all don't have to say much, okay? Know this is going to be your fresh new start, okay? Some of you will be having a new beginning in love, all right? Financial support, yeah, the lovers is coming out in reverse. So some of you, you may have, you know, making plans to move on from somebody. Why is the lovers in reverse for financial support? Yeah, y'all are probably choosing to be single. Maybe some of you were dealing with somebody who could have been financially supporting you, or maybe you were financially supporting somebody else, but you realize this person could have been in it for the wrong reason. Or maybe you were in it for the wrong reason. Maybe you weren't attracted to this person, but somebody here may stop supporting you, and I don't know if you're going to be mad about it. I don't know. Pressure cooker, financial support for June 7th. What is this about? Yeah, see, y'all going to, either way it goes, I feel like it's going to be a good outcome, Okay. Somebody here may be mad. Maybe you don't want to accept this person's money, okay, anymore. Maybe, like, I'm good on you. This could be a, um, this could be a Taurus or a Virgo. We got Gemini energy. Somebody here was probably financially supporting you because of the sex, and y'all don't want that anymore. Y'all tired of being in this lustful relationship. What's Five of Wands? Five of Wands for financial support pressure cooker. Yeah, Knight of Cups. This person, they were charming and, and, and attractive until they weren't. Some of you don't want nothing to do with this person anymore. Yeah, y'all like, I can do it by myself, okay? Some of you have been only using this person because you've been waiting for a past person to come back. I see it. Something else you've been waiting on and maybe you feel like, yeah, y'all waiting on a past person. And they're coming in here with communication. I don't know. Friday looks a little looks a little messy. Okay, I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. Give me some more bonus messages for June seventh on a Friday. June seventh. What else can the collective expect? See, somebody here not letting y'all go though. Somebody here is determined to be with you. They want to be persistent. Somebody here gonna keep sending you flowers, gifts. They holding on to you, collective. And it could be that past person. Yeah, see, soulmate partnership, spiritual union, healing. Somebody here wants healing with you. Somebody here wants sexual healing with you too. Put it on them, make them wanna marry me, okay? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> somebody here wants to, cause somebody here feels a lot of guilt. For some of you, this could also be your person. Somebody here could be in your person's energy and mad because they were financially supporting your person, but your person is determined to be with you. Okay, they're not giving up on you. This soulmate, this this partnership, that somebody here is asking like for keeping, want to keep the faith alive, having dreams about you. Somebody here, they're like, I don't even want the money no more. The sex was okay, all right, but I don't want them anymore. Somebody here has holding on to too much regret. They missed your intimacy, and it don't just mean sex. It just means your vibe, just being around you, hearing you laugh, your smile, just doing things with you. Somebody here want to do it different here, do it differently with you. But some of you, somebody here knows that they could have been financially supported through this another situation they had going on with this love affair that they had 
But spirit is saying, you know, yeah, they may be broke right now. They could have got fired, live beyond their means, whatever. If your person was with somebody for financial reasons, yeah, they, they don't have no money right now. But I feel like for some of you, your person is okay with that. They just want to be with you. Okay, they're not coming here. I feel like they're not coming here to, to use you to, to use you to use you. They're coming here to be persistent to show you like, look, that don't matter to me. I, I want to be with you. I want to work things out with you. Tell me more for June 7th on a Friday. Yeah, see, because you and this person, y'all haven't been talking, whoever this is, you've been giving them the cold shoulder. You've been distanced. You separated yourself from this person. That's also probably another reason why they're mad. Cold shoulder, breakup, distance, separation. Yep, I told y'all, but if you have been, if you've been the one who gave me a person a cold shoulder, just know they are coming towards you, okay? This could be a pop-up. This could be reaching out to you, trying to see you in person. Somebody here is about to be persistent. They're not giving up on this connection no time soon, okay? Some of you, that's why this week they're going to be calling you, trying to fight with you. Not in a bad way, but fight for your love. This one here you may consider that's childish, okay? <clears throat> Kept you in drama with another person. I don't know. But this is somebody here who is not letting up on you. They're not giving up on this connection. <laughs> so let's get some messages for y'all. What else is a person need to be aware of spirit for June, from June 4th to June 7th? What else does my collector need to be aware of? Just overall from June 4th through June 7th. What does a collective need to be aware about from June 4th to June 7th? Yep, losing you was this person's biggest regret. That's why they're watching you. That's why they're keeping tabs on you. That's why they're trying to see what's going on in your world. Can't move on. Compare every man or woman to you. Mm. Yep, June well, June 6th, y'all might be getting back together. I don't know why I was about to say June 6th, but Spirit said somebody, you and somebody getting back together. All right, guys, so yeah, June 6th, some of you will be getting back together with your person, seeing your person. Some of you, I just saw... Co-workers being mad, mad, leaving you voicemails. I'm not going to take those. But for some of you, like I said, I will take them because that did make sense. Because some of you, like I said, y'all about to get ready to move to a new position or something. And maybe they felt like they were qualified because they were supposed to. They've been there longer than you. But somebody here saw that you were fit for the job. Remember, I said June 6th. And money will not be a struggle for you anymore. All right, and somebody here may be mad because maybe you left the, the company or, you know, maybe these co-workers may be feeling bad. But y'all got some hating ass co-workers, okay? What else, spirit? When they go low, your spirit guides go lower. So just know y'all don't even got to argue and fight back with these people, okay? Just know that, you know, your spirit guides are going to go lower, okay? So when they think they're going low and they think they're being awful, I think they got, you know, look, see? I can get the message out. Y'all are powerful and y'all are gifted. And whatever blessings that come your way, yeah, people are going to hate on you because they feel like they should be it. But but no, this is y'all time to shine. And when y'all get in this position, do not get lazy. Bust your ass every day. Show up, look good, have your hair done, you know, look presentable because this is not it. Okay. This is not just, this is only the beginning for you. Yep. You're being stalked heavy. What else? The universe is fighting for you and somebody else to be together. What else, spirit? You see, and some of you, you like, oh, girl, I'm not bothered, honey. All right, y'all know what it was, but somebody here is putting y'all in a different position because they see that you, you do, you are qualified. Okay, you do got things going for yourself. Okay. What else? Give me four more messages that the collective can expect June fourth through the seventh. June fourth through the seventh. Okay, so y'all will definitely have somebody that wants another chance with you to work it out. Look, love call coming soon, so y'all can expect June 4th through the 7th, a love message to come through. Somebody here is missing your scent. Okay, and that can mean a lot of things. That can mean just the way you smell or maybe down there, okay? But they miss it. It says you're not like the others. You stand out. So that would definitely make sense, okay? And then we got wanting to give you a love child. Ooh, honey. Yeah, somebody here got want to make up. They want to call you, take you out wine and dine you that they wouldn't do it all okay let me let me get a message from your angels and then we're going to end this video because i think my storage is low look here we go i'm gonna take those spirit said to be assertive in the things that you want and need in your life that could be even with you because see you got it's time to take off that mask and trust the universe speak up say what you gotta say what you gotta say some of you this won't happen until a year from now well 
it could be just like maybe maybe a year from now y'all y'all look back and be like wow okay like i I'm, i was assertive i trust the universe i trust god I, I got myself together and now look where i'm at a year from now i'm not struggling i'm in a better position some of you you back with your new boo i mean your ex or you could be with your boo okay like your your, your person you've been getting readings about y'all y'all are together y'all happy everything is going to feel like it's good so y'all can definitely expect big happy changes are coming towards you and we got the situation will improve so whether it's work life career love whatever I was talking about today with your pet with your ex with new love with your career some of you could go on a vacation surprisingly okay just know that the situation will improve and it will be better okay it's going to get better reach for the stars look at her get excited for these big happy changes that are on the way for you okay i love y'all thank y'all so much for tuning in and i'll catch y'all later peace